the devil is in the details. And in engineering, surface roughness is often where it hides. A slight difference in surface roughness results in a large difference in friction, which could make a huge difference in the performance of a mechanical system. Not rarely, meaning the difference between the system running or failing. For this reason, precise indication and measurement methods of surface roughness are provided by international standards. Let's look at the surface roughness of a part. Depending on the manufacturing process, the surface will have a degree of roughness. If we zoom in closer enough, these will look like mountains and valleys. These are caused by markings of the cutting tool or the die that was used to manufacture the part, but also due to vibrations in the machine or even distortions in the material matrix due to the heat treatment. A profilometer has a probe that follows these mountains and valleys of the surface profile and plots them to a graph. This graph represents the primary profile of a surface. We can see that it includes the larger deviations called waviness and on this waviness profile, if we zoom even further, we find micro deviations. This is the roughness profile. Think of it like mountains in a landscape. The mountains are the waviness profile, but walking up a mountain, you will be encountered by rugged terrain. This rugged terrain is the roughness profile. Using a low-pass filter, we can represent a waviness profile smoothly without looking at roughness. And using a high-pass filter, we can see only the roughness without having the effect of the waviness. We make this distinction because these two deviations have different consequences on the function. While waviness could result in a part that cannot be assembled, roughness does not influence the assembly. But on the coefficient of friction and on the wear and durability of the part. Although there are parameters to control the waviness, the waviness profile is large enough to be controlled by tolerancing methods like GDNT. Therefore, it is of less significance and used only in specific cases. But the roughness profile needs special parameters. Looking at the roughness profile, we have the total evaluation length, LN, which is defined by the standard. This total length should be divided into five smaller single evaluation lengths, LR. Now we are all set to look at the most important roughness parameters. RT is the distance from the lowest valley to the highest peak along the total evaluation length, LN. But Rz is the distance between the lowest valley to the highest peak along a single evaluation length, LR. Ra is the arithmetic mean of the heights of the peaks and the depths of the valleys inside a single LR. So, you sum up the depths of the valleys and the heights of the peaks, ignoring the direction, and you take the arithmetic mean of that value. Many parameters can be used for spe specialized applications. RMR is used to specify the amount of material on a certain height, which is used on parts made of powder metallurgy like plain bearings. Now that we know the important parameters used to specify the surface roughness, let's look at how these are inserted into drawings. There are three symbols to use to indicate the type of surface texture. The basic symbol simply says that all manufacturing processes are allowed. This symbol says that the material removal is prohibited. So, the indicated surface cannot be manufactured by removing material. So, processes like turning, milling and drilling are not allowed on that surface. But processes like rolling and forging are allowed. This symbol, on the other hand, indicates the opposite. It specifies that material removal is required to manufacture this surface. The value of the allowable surface roughness is specified here, for example, RA 1.6. 
If the specification should have a lower and an upper limit, then the lower limit is specified under the upper limit. This is used to avoid that a surface is too smooth for the function. Think for surface that has a braking function. Too smooth is not always good.